Hello and welcome back for another Mill City Roasters educational short. Today we're going to talk about extraction. Extraction has a couple of different parts to it. The first part is what we're going to extract. This is the stuff that is stuck inside of that coffee seed. The stuff that we roasted and cooked and made into soluble material. The other part of the extraction is the water. The liquid that is going to go into that coffee seed and is going to pull out the material. Once we have that material in the water, now we have something called a solution. The way that we look at this is through the, the, I guess, analogy of strength. A solution that has a lot more in it from the extracted particles is a strong solution. If it's weaker, that means that our water didn't do a good enough job in getting into that coffee seed and pulling out the material. So in order to help the water do a good job to extract the coffee out of the coffee seed, we need to think about grind and grind particle size. So I'm going to exhibit this in a couple of different ways and show you a couple of different examples. So this is going to be the first video that shows you kind of some information around extraction. So what I've done here is I've pretended as though we have one coffee that is roasted in two different ways. When you roast a coffee, the coffee expands. As it expands, the porous nature of that coffee or the cell matrix expands as well. So you can kind of think about that like a sponge. If you have a sponge that is very, very porous, which is going to be represented by this sponge, the sponge will have a lot of openness to it so that water can get in and out of it very easily. That water can get in and pull out the extractable material or the soluble material very easily. If you have a coffee that is less roasted, it'll be less porous and the pores that it have will be tighter. So the water has a little bit more difficulty going into those particles and pulling out the extractable material. And that's what we have represented here. Now what I've done is I've added the same amount of just simple food coloring to each one of these particles. I have five particles of the same size. So we're going to pretend that those are the same size grind particles. Okay. And what we're going to do is simply add water. So we're going to take our more porous coffee and add that to our, let's say cupping bowl and our less porous coffee and add that to the other cupping bowl. Now we're simply going to add hot water and see how they extract. And you can see immediately that the more porous coffee ground is going to extract more quickly. You can see that the strength of the extraction here is higher or this would be a stronger brew. So we've achieved extracting more soluble material out of the coffee here. We've extracted less of the material here. Even though each of these coffees has the same extractable material, since the water has a harder job going into the less porous coffee ground, it takes more time, which is another one of our factors in the brewing process. Now I can enhance this time by adding something called agitation or turbulence. So I can simply stir this up and you begin to see that that extraction begins to match the extraction of the other coffee. So time, turbulence, the amount of water to the amount of coffee, the porosity and the grind particle size all work together to create a beverage that is to your liking or to the correct ratio of coffee to water. Thank you so much. This has been another educational. Uh, I don't know, dude, that's super green, man. I think you should take it a little farther. Uh, most definitely, most definitely take it a little farther. I think it needs about maybe 5% more development, but that, that totally blunt related. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> Once again, this has been an educational short by Mill City Roasters. Um, happy brewing. <laughs>